She hot class, skinny in a wine glass, closet full of shoes and design bags. She got a name, but everybody call her fine ass. Got a fine ass. We just gotta see a top class. Born in the corn, she a mixed bridge. Tips on parentheses. And she drives stick, it's a six feet. Yellow on the inside, switch cheese. Boom, 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 boom. She got that wet, wet. We can have the best sex. I'm a kid, a kid, that's a death threat. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Exclusive C. I'm back with another video. And today, I'm just going to be showing you how I made my thumbnail or the thumbnail that everyone is trying to, you know, make. I'm not sure on how to do the 3D part of it yet, but I'm going to just show you the basics of how I made my thumbnail. So, of course, we're going to just go into PixArt app. And when I go into PixArt, uh, then I'm going to just select my thumbnail and use the cutout or you can go to the eraser app and use the eraser but I'm just going to basically cut myself out of the picture and just you know of course for this in particular thumbnail I did a hair review so I made sure to also get the box for the hair review and stuff like that and you know as you can see y'all can see what i'm doing coloring it in and if it's too much i can always go back and erase what i don't want to be colored pixar does not cut it out as neatly as you want and this in particular part of the thumbnail needs to be as neat as possible so after i cut it out i'm then going go, going to go into the eraser app you know select on my image and then click erase at the bottom and you can move those cursors down there to you know make that red circle big or make it small but once i do that i'm then going to you know just outline and erase all of the little pieces that pixar was not able to detect and delete and you know just clean it up you need to make this look as clean as possible and you're going to see why when we get to the next step after finally completing it you're going to then save the photo to your phone and then you're going to go into the fonto app when the Fonto app loads, you're then going to click the camera below, click on plain image, select the dark image, click color, select black, and then save it. It doesn't matter what size it is, I prefer it to be square. But once you do that, you're just going to save it and then go back into the PixArt app where you will click the plus sign at the bottom and then select that black image. Once you select the black image, you then will click add photos and then select the um, thumbnail photo to be placed on top. After you select the thumbnail photo at the bottom, you will see where it says border. This is how you're going to get the white outlining. After you click border, you then can move the cursor to determine how thick and how thin you want the borderline to be. And if you don't want the borderline to be white, they have options for you to change the color, of course. After that, you're going to go into the eraser app where we're going to just delete the black. And how you delete the black is you're going to click erase, click target color or target area. Target color will delete everything that's in that color. But you're going to click target area and then delete all of the black and then save that image into your phone. Once the image has been saved, we're then going to move back into the pixel. What's up, y'all? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pause the video. This is going to be my support the black business segment right here first black business that we're going to go ahead and support is going to be jazzy things she is a boutique in houston she ships i well i don't know if she ships but i know um all her merchandise are on hand i think she has some pre-ordered things but these are just the pants that i got from her so hold on so here's the packaging um i came to pick up I, this was a pickup order from her home and this is the packaging that it comes in. Here are the pants. Right here. They are rips in the front and this is a size large with I believe that I can fit these. So I am going to try them on and show them to y'all. But yeah, this is the large. And it has two, the rips in the back as well. And that's just on period. And this is her business card right here her mother's business so if y'all need any catering anything like that this is her mother business all of the links to this business and all of the um 
Instagram, any way you can contact this business so that you can price this and support a black business as well. If you need, if you're in the Houston area, you know you want to pick up a pair of pants or something. She has more things on her website, swimsuits, sandals, you know. I'm just showing y'all this is a legitimate business, no scams, no nothing. So if y'all see anything on her page that y'all want, that y'all know it's legit. It's legit. So make sure y'all get it. So anyway, if y'all want to contact her, that will be in the link below. So that is on period our app click on the plus sign below and then you're going to select the original photo the original thumbnail photo after you select the original thumbnail photo we're then going to make the photo um you're going to click on effects at the bottom and you're going to make the photo a blur effect and you can move the cursor to determine how blurry and you know how unblurry you want it after you do that, we're going to go into Safari, and this is where you will find a recording green screen. You're going to save that to your phone, and then you're going to type in the vector sun rays as well, and you're going to save this image into your phone. The vector sun rays is, you're going to basically see what that does. I can't really explain in word forms what this does, but you're going to see what it does to the photo. So after we save that into our phone, you're going to go back into the pixar app click add photo and then you're going to be adding the sun rays vector the sun vector you get what i'm saying y'all so you're going to add that once you add that you're going to click blend at the bottom and you're going to click on y'all i don't know which blend i clicked on but it's this one this one right here this is the blend you're going to click on so that it makes your photo look like this once again you can use the cursor to you know brighten it dim dim it like make it look to your liking how you want it so basically this is how it looks so far before i go to the next step after your image looks like this you're then going to click add photo again and then place the original copy of the thumbnail picture on top of this photo and expand it go to the bottom once again after you have expanded it and click on blend and do the same blend again and this is what it should look like after this after you get into this part basically this is the backgrounding of you know the thumbnail after you finally get it to the right blending and stuff you're going to then click add photos and going to add that sticker photo that you just created onto the um, thumbnail so that that part just sticks out and everything else is in the background like this after that we're then going to um, add the click add photo again and then add the recording template make sure that the recording template covers the entire border of the um, thumbnail so that it can give the video effect after this going to save it and then go into the Ponto app which is where I did the lettering at so you're going to click the camera below and click photo album and then select the thumbnail you just created and then you're going to just tap on it and click add text so you're going to the text is going to of course be the title of your YouTube video so once I determined the title that I was going to make my YouTube video I then um, typed it and click done You can choose your font. They have all different types of font. And also, you're able to size it and put it to how you want it to be to your liking. And then click on style. After clicking style, you're going to go to um, patterns and form the two first colors for I want a gray and white pattern effect. So for the first two colors, I put the dark gray as the first one, the second one is a light gray, and then a lighter gray and then white so that it can look the way that I have it. And then you're going to then click um, apply. After you click apply, you're going to finally click on stroke and make the stroke black you can determine how thick you want the lining of the stroke to be and then you know just add that
After saving it into Fonto, you're now going to go into Safari. And this part is very optional for you. This I'm just putting like stickers onto my um thumbnail. You know what my video is about. The vendor that sent me this hair was Amazon. So I went to Safari and just, you know, saved the Amazon logo. Then I went straight into the Eraser app and then clicked on the um, Amazon logo and deleted all of the um, white from that because I don't want that in my video. And then, you know, save it into my phone. After saving it to my phone, I just went back into the Fonto app, click add images, and then added the um, Amazon sticker in here. And then, you know, you can tilt it, size it, or do however you want to do. But I just did that with um, all of the stickers. I did it with their logo. I also, you know, added text. And instead of putting text, I put the emoji of thumbs up and thumbs down. Because is the hair good? Is the hair bad? You know, stuff, stickers for your thumbnail. So I'm just going to show you the stickers that I did. And, you know, freestyle. Finally, after adding all of the stickers that I want to add to my thumbnail, this is my final and complete thumbnail. I then will save it into my phone and then go into the YouTube Studios app, which that's a tutorial for another day, but then that's how you add your thumbnail. But thank you for watching my video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. I have more tutorials on how to make intros and other things that you need to make. And thank you. And don't forget to watch my last video and bye love you Mwah.